This is the future of aerospace in Western Washington. Put the robot on. 12-year-old Weston Lavigier among those leading the way. I'm going to make it do a perpetual motion machine where it keeps going back and forth forever. 30 middle schoolers from Snohomish County at Boeing's Future of Flight Museum learning aeronautics hands-on from robotics to aviation, electronics, and manufacturing. And inspiring really stuff for kids like Weston. It does get me pretty interested in it, just seeing like all the options you can do and how much you can modify things. According to Snohomish County, Boeing brings in $60 billion to the Washington economy every year, supporting 158,000 jobs. But thousands of planes are on backlog and a skilled worker shortage is slowing recovery. But with post-pandemic graduation rates slipping and a generation less likely to be as well off as their parents, will there be a young, educated workforce to keep it all going? Kids need to be sort of getting into the stream now and thinking about, oh, do I like um, 3D printing, or do I like fuels? What, what do I like? And, and getting them headed in the right direction so when they land and start looking for a job, they're ready. Boeing is actively working to hire 800 people a month, so for future generations, there will be no lack of opportunity. They might drill uh, holes, they might fasten the airplane, they might seal it. Machinist Union President John Holden says increased production rates on the 737 and a fourth line coming to Everett, along with more work on the 777X and emerging green technologies make aerospace a solid choice for young people with or without a college degree. And I think if we do the work to share that with young kids coming up, they'll be inspired to get into aerospace as well. That's what events like this one are for, and as Weston sketches out the plans for his future, he likes what he sees in aerospace. It lets me see the different opportunities that are possible for me. In Everett, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.